everyone double p here and welcome back so in today's trading session a uh, live trading session we uh traded apple and it was uh today's friday january 28th 2022 so today is uh, expiration so what we did <clears throat> is we looked at trading apple uh yesterday so i sent out a text message to my guys so let's just go over this here you see my account right here it's a margin account, full account right there. You see margin. If it says, why does it say partially delayed data? No problem. I'll go through that there. Stock is in real time. So New York Stock Exchange, Amex, uh, NASDAQ, all real time feeds. Equity options, real time feeds. Futures and futures options, I don't trade it. So you see it right there. It's all delayed. I don't need the feeds for it. Forex and other is in real time. So real time. I'm not looking at you as I'm talking. I'm looking at my screens up here. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, got a frog in my throat from waking up this morning. Let's see if I got any water left. All right. So Apple was a solid, solid uh, trade. It was earnings yesterday. So we did what was called an earnings uh, volatility crush play. So let me just come over here and show you the uh, text alert from yesterday. That's the first thing, because everyone's going to say, well, how do you make the money that you make? Well, it's because we know how to trade over here at the Platinum Traders Beta Testers Group, right? So let's take a look at the trade here. I sent this out yesterday at uh, 3.48, January 27th. You see it right there. That's a text alert that come out. Earnings trade right there. Bought to open 28 January 22. Apple 157.50, 165 strike debit spread. Now I'm not going to show you what we paid for the debit or what I told my guys to get the limit order for the debit or the contract size. That's up to them to get the contract size, but I will show it to you. So, you know, being all transparent, right? Looking for 40% of profit. Stop losses are tight, minus 15%. I tell my guys, <clears throat> you will never get 100% of your spread because that's a risk-defined uh, trade. So with a spread, whether it be a credit spread or a debit spread, <clears throat> it's all a risk-defined. You uh, mitigate your risk and you maximize your potential, right? Sometimes, I don't really like to do spreads that much, but in an earnings play, I'll do it because what happens is you're paying for the volatility up front leading into the earning. And then, what's, and then what happens after that is what's called like a volatility crush. Like the, the, the option prices just drop dramatically. Uh, the next, on, on the day of expiration and the day of uh, after earnings. So that's what they call volatility crush. There's a whole big speakeasy around it and terminology around it. I'm just gonna give it to you straight so that you get it. You can buy the volatility leading up to it. Volatility is expensive. And then the after the earnings, like the next training session, depending on what earnings is, actually, uh, after earnings session, like usually uh, the options, uh, they deflate in price, right? They just reduce in price because the crush just, you know, sucks everything out. So you got to be really careful and you got to know when, uh, when to trade these things and how to trade them. So that was the uh, alert that I sent out to my guys. So I'm going to show you here leading up in the pre-market. Let's go over here and let's draw the box uh, real quick. I'm going to do this really quickly. So I drew my box out yesterday. All right, from here. Uh, uh, sorry, that was a different box. So let's draw the box so that you see it. And then we can go continue on in today's trade session so let me move this over here <clears throat> all right so let's go uh let's go to three three p.m so where was the high that was the high there let's get my trading let's get my proper trading tool up so that we can see it and let's move this over here. Always when you're doing stuff in real time, that's what happens. So let's see, the high was, here it is, 
here's the high, here's the low, 158.61, that's close enough, so we got that, let's draw our box. All right, so we draw our box. So I'm doing this really quickly. So you get the gist of what Apple did, All right? So Apple opened well above the box, All right? So when Apple opens up well above the box, you know, we're gonna go long because it's strong. Look at pre-market, strong all through pre-market strong, right? It's very strong trend. But we know when we open up way above the box, the chances are the stock's gonna come right back down and, and try to touch this box. Unless it's a strong upward trend, then it's gonna continue, right? It's gonna continue to go up. So what happened is, look at this leading in the pre-market and the bell opening, right? So when I have my uh, position on, I'm like, okay, I see what's gonna be happening here. And I want to get out pretty quickly because I don't want to hold this because it was earnings. It was just an earnings play and you want to get out literally uh, very quickly. And I, and I said that in the text here. I do believe I said that in the text. Um, oh, actually, that was in the email I sent to my guys. But with the earnings, you want to get out quickly. So let's go over here. Um, what can I show you? Oh, yeah. Let me show you my fill so that you get it, so that you understand it there. So with our fill, so you see this uh, right here? <clears throat> You'll see when I got filled, I got filled yesterday at 3.50 p.m. I bought 50, I bought 50 uh, contracts for the spread at 3.44. Today I sold them for $7.00. And that's at 9.31. So the second the bell opened up, right? Because that's what you want to do. You want to get in and you want to get out. So I basically doubled my money, more than doubled my money, right? From 3.44, sold at seven bucks, right? So we got out literally at the top of this candle right here because you've seen the crush that just happened, right? The lead up right here. So let me open up this so that you actually see it a little bit better. Let me come over here one day. So you see the size of these candles, right? And I know exactly when to place my order to get in and get out, right? So right, literally right here, as this candle touches and breaches, I'm out. My order is already set up to, to get out, right? So you wanna do the math on that? So let's see here. Let's come over here so that you see what happened, right? Let's uh, stop all the drama. So $17,925 today on my spread, getting in and getting out. So you see that right there. So you'll see the spread. You'll see what the cost of the spread is right here, right? On, on the 157.50 call, 23375 on the 165 and selling the 165 call, right? That was a loss, 5,450, right? So you take all those together, you subtract them, there you get your spread, $17,925, right? So if you wanna calculate it out, <clears throat> and look, Apple's coming back up right now uh, as, we're, as we're talking about it right here, Apple's coming back up. so. Let's come over here. Let's go over here. 344, right? Because that's what I paid for it. Times uh, 50 contracts. Times uh, 100 shares, right? Because that's what the shares are. One option contract equals 100 shares. That's 17,200, right? So keep that in mind. So I sold it for seven, right? So if seven times 50 times 100 is 35,000, right? Minus 17, what was it, 200? 
gives us roughly our 17,800, give or take, right? So that's the size, that's the contract, that's the day, that's the trade for our earnings volatility crush uh, trade on Apple. Fantastic trade. I was actually going to buy a call because I'm a very directional bullish type of a trader. But I just said to myself, you know what? It's a, it's a, it's a volatility crush type of a play. And either way, either way, I would have max. Either way, I would have done very well if I would have just went directional and just bought a call. Um, that call would have been very juicy right about now. So let me let me come over here, and you're gonna see here. Uh, I got a vertical, right? So you come over here, you go to spread, you go to vertical because you want to see what's going on with your verticals, right? And that's how we picked out the volume and the open interest for our verticals. So at 157.60, you see right now that the volatility crush just, just crushed, right? And it just deflated the price of the option, right? So the 165, 167, we look over here, we look at the massive amount of volume. So this is a very good trade uh, as far as a spread, doing a spread, because this is what you wanna see. You want to have liquidity, right? You want to be able to get in and get out. When you do a spread, you want to be able to get in and you want to be able to get out. You want to be able to get filled immediately, like right away, and you want to be able to get out. You want to be able to exit your order, uh, get your order fulfilled and get out without any waiting status or in working mode, right? That's the worst thing you want to do when you're, when you're doing spreads or any option for that matter is you just don't want to get caught right? Because that's, that's, that's terrible getting caught. So let's see the implied volatility here. The implied volatility uh, yesterday was like way up there. It was like, uh, like 113, 114%, like some, some ridiculous number, right? You can see it right here, actually, right? 158, 158.22%. And it just crushed it out, right? As of today, yesterday was like super, so let's come over here and let's kind of look at what these calls would have probably been. If I would have took a, if I would have took a call, bought it yesterday. Yesterday they were trading. Let's see, 158.50, uh, one, two, three. So let's come down here, one, two, three. They were trading about. Uh, they were trading probably about uh, ninety-five cents. I think it was. Maybe yeah, maybe a buck twenty-five they were trading. So today, if I would have if I would have bought a call, I mean, yeah, about one that's seven sixty. So let's go over that. Let's go over that right there. Um, where's my calculator? One fifty-seven fifty seven sixty right now. So seven, let's just say 760, oh, let's just say 750. 750 times 50 times 100, same, you know, same thing, 37.5, right? That would have been, that would have been a nice, nice, nice call trade. So that being said, uh, my name is Double P. Somewhere in this video, you're going to see a link. Head on over to the Platinum Traders Beta Testers Group. Love to have you on board. Love to show you how we trade spreads and how we look at the uh, volatility crush leading up into the uh, leading up into earnings to do a spread. I was gonna do a butterfly, but I figured you know what? I don't like doing butterflies. I could have done a could have did a, a bullish butterfly because uh, that was a you know that's kind of a it's a, kind of a low risk, uh, high probability trade as well but I wouldn't have made as much money on a butterfly, on a, especially on a broken butterfly. So I would have just figured, you know what, I'm just gonna do a, I'm just gonna do a vertical spread, uh, pay for the volatility, so I have that premium packed into it, and then exit out uh, on the high, which is right around here. All right, so that being said, somewhere in this video, like this video, smash that, smash that like button, smash that like button, smash that like button. And I'll see you guys uh, next week in the next trading session. Take care, everybody.